Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Remember last time we went through this situation and it didn't end well for us, and Gecko, if he died, he will never come back. I'm just going to skim through the same dialogue as before, but... But yeah, if any of the Evlon IV dies, they're gone forever. Uh, otherwise, they will eventually become permanent characters. Kind of like uh, the dolls, uh, Kalka and Brina. I didn't forget their names for a brief second. But anyway, so this time, let's try doing things a little differently there. Hmm. If I could try and kill her, but well, that didn't work out too well for me the last time. I have to think about this one carefully. Okay, let's hold back. Let's just hide. Coward. Oh, they're getting up now. Well, thanks for saving my life the last time. Nuts. Elevator? What does she want with that? Was it going to bring the giant of Babil down again? We'll take out the core again. Yeah, remember back in Yang's Tale? They, he found this gravestone there? Well, that's why. Because Gekka was here. So yeah, this is before uh, Yang's Tale, evidently. So, yeah. Sorry, I guess I kind of spoiled that the last episode, but... Well, whatever. So, but anyway, now it's time for it all to come together. With Edge. So yeah, it's kind of like a miniature Dragon Quest IV in a way. Although the whole game is like a bigger one. But, well, I'll talk more about that later. Nah, I wouldn't worry about it. You're just being paranoid. Oh, man. You made your bedroom look just like Cecil's. Where are you going? through a secret passage. I'm 37, I'm not old. Or I'm not young. I think he actually is 37 or something like, or no, he's in his 40s, isn't he? Something like that. Yeah, Edge is actually surprisingly old. Like of the original, of the final five in the original, I think he was the oldest by fairly wide margin. I think he was like 26, so he'd be, what, 43 now? Something like that? Whatever it is. I'm a man! I'm 40! Not young. He's he's definitely middle-aged. I mean, hey, I'm 30, and well, I suppose that's technically middle-aged, but still. Oh, you know what I want to do? There are some things I want to get back here. Even though I did just kind of sneak out of the castle. There are some things I want to buy. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to do that? You don't have it. You don't have it. Actually, though... Now, hold on a sec. Let's let's get the equipment that I want first. We do have equipment shops here, don't we? Yes, there we go. Okay, I want to get a metal boomerang for Edge there. So let's give that to him. Let's see, anything else that's better? No, no, that ought to be good. And then over here, we want to get a Kenpogi for a little more strength there. Let's take a look at his stats. He's got 22 speed, 20 strength, so yeah, let's give him the Kenpogi for that. And let's see, he's got the silver armlet already. Yeah, I think we're good. So yeah, another level, he'll get another attack multiplier. So yeah, he's in really good shape. So he's already ahead of the game compared to the others. Might, it not, might not have been a bad idea to get all the others up to, like, level 25 or something in their own... Oh, you know, I wanted to get some more potions. But yeah, like, get the Evlon 4 up to, like, level 25 or so. But, uh, maybe I should have told you that before. <laughs> no, no, but, uh, it, it's not a big deal. No. They, they'll be fine. The rest of the tale is not that hard. So... But yeah, now we can just go over here. Remember they were saying that the the moon is changing the land, or the tides, or whatever. So the world is changing a little bit. It's 
better than the excuse we got in, uh, what was it? Lufia 2. Oh, I should put Edge, I almost said Yang, uh, in the back row there. I get my ambidextrous characters mixed up all the time. But, yeah, we can just pretty much one-shot everything. Don't even... Oh, uh, Edge! Did I go over his spells earlier? Really? Well, if I didn't... If I did, I'm gonna do it again. But, uh, yeah, he's still got mo a, lot, a lot of the same spells as before. Uh, he has all the basic s spells, smoke. He's basically like the Eblon 4 all put together, pretty much. Although he does... He can't equip, like, all their weapons. But he can equip a lot of them. Okay, screw this. I'm killing these guys now. See how effective that is. Ah, it's super effective! There we go. Well, oh, it doesn't affect anything I do. Ninjutsu is actually considered to be a uh, type of special attack, so it's not considered black magic. So that's how the moon gets affected by it. Oh, I never took a look at his abilities. Uh, let's see, he's got... Now he, he has Mug instead of Steel, so that's pretty nice. He's gotten a little better at that. I like how they upgraded his abilities, but pretty much everything else is the same. Are the Throw Command and Shuriken Command pretty much the same thing? Or is it, like, Shuriken only limited to, well, throwing Shurikens, like the description says, but Edge's Throw Command can throw other kinds of weapons? That would be my guess, even though I never use any of them. Alright, there we got the Mithril Glove. So, let's give that to Edge. Because, he, ha even though it reduces his magic defense, he has no multipliers for it. So, it doesn't really help him that much to increase the raw value. By the way, for every 8 agility, you get another defense multiplier. So, that could be pretty nice. In fact, you know what? Ooh, we got a rune arm right there. Check that out. Mm, nah, I don't think so. Unless you're gonna get another ma defense, mu magic defense multiplier. No, no, I don't think so. Okay. For every, if you add up your intellect and spirit stats, I think that's what it is, right? Yeah. If you add them up and divide by 32, that's how many magic defense multipliers you'll get. The rune armlet increases intellect and spirit by three each, so. I've got 21 plus 6 is 27, so I'm almost there for another magic defense multiplier, but nah, I wouldn't really worry about it. Oh, well, there you go. I like how some of them, some of the Eblonites say, oh, you look so much like your father. Yeah, he was a freaking monster the last time I saw him. Thanks a lot. Well, then why are you bothering to investigate? Well, I'm sure they won't have to. Well, let's keep on going. The cave is mostly the same as it was before. Oh, and by the way, uh, recently, I forget which level exactly, we learned Heal Pill for Edge. So, wow, not bad. It's a lot better than the other characters who were using it. Manji Shuriken. Well, I might, uh, probably won't use it. I never, I don't really like using the throw command that much in these games. I'm trying to remember a Final Fantasy game where I really liked it. I mean, Final Fantasy VI was pretty good, but that's about it. Well, Final Fantasy uh, IX was okay. But yeah, in general, I just really don't care for it. Because it's like you, they're more expendable than your MP even is. I don't like weapons that are expendable like that. Or consumable. Whatever. Ah, there we go. Not that I'm gonna use that, but it's there. Well, thank you for being in an egg. Rats don't, uh... They're not born from eggs, right? I mean, they're, they're mammals. Mammals aren't born from eggs. Right? I know biology is not my strong subject, but uh, I would think I could at least know that. 
Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, if biology isn't your strong subject or such and such, as I so often say, what is your strong subject? Well, as far as, like, science goes, it's, uh, I was always really good at chemistry and physics. Like, anything math-related, I was really good at. Yeah, I know, that's a real shock to you viewers. As I go through a secret passage! And I'm gonna give the silver apple to Edge, because I'm gonna be using him long-term. So, yeah, Edge is just really good. He's just got such a good combination of strength and speed and versatility. I, I love him in this game. Just as I did in uh, the original Final Fantasy IV. And he actually does get some pretty good bands. We haven't gotten... Well, we haven't had the ability to even attempt to get a new band. But we will soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. Spoiler alert! We're going to get bands. Well, finally, the enemies have taken it easy on me. Well, that's nice and refreshing. Thank you. Nuts. Well, these guys are easy enough. Well, at least you've thinned out the herd since the last time we, we came through here. The enemies are a lot easier than before. And there's a save point to the right there that I will use, but first things first, let's grab all this treasure. A little stronger, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Eventually, I will want to use those headbands, but not right now. We're not really running into the Lamias yet. Huh? Oh. I'm back! What, the first time? Not right now, Stripe. I'm almost done here. I'll throw your bottle cap around in a minute, okay? Rubicante. No, quit whining. I'll play with you soon. I'm just having traumatic flashbacks! No. Well, yeah, pretty much. No, Stripe? No, not right now. Down. Naughty kitty. Got my eye on you. Now she's just fixated on the bottle caps there. Okay, but anyway. Okay, that... I think that's all the treasure here. Oh, well, there's one... There's one more, but I wanted to go back to the save point room. There we go. It looks like it's a dead end, but it's not. There's a secret passage over here, just like last time. Are we at full? I'm probably going to use a tent here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, we just get a summon drop. Okay, never mind. Uh, that is... Yeah, yeah, that is the summon drop. Okay. Very good. Jolly good. Okay, well, I think that's all the treasure that's in around here. But what's going on inside the Tower of Babel? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!